Alright, command has already been said, I guess. Deal is rolling off already. Fourteen place this season. cars heading in. Green flag is out. Here we go. Oh, the 60. John Juan Gold. Oh, forces. Oh, that's bad. Oh, God. This is bad. This is bad. Big wreck on the first lap. Look at the 40s on top of one car, and he's upside down. And the big one strikes on the back stretch. Who would have knew? Don't happen that often here at Chicago Land. Race it back to the line is going to be Time Pollyard, who's going to lead the first lap and lead on to the first caution flag. And wow, that didn't take long. Everyone racing it back, and we got more wrecks. Oh boy. Oh, this is bad. Holy sh Oh god, again, really? Can't use their brakes. Three cars already flipped in the first lap. In the first lap of the race. There's still I, I just saw the old one just hit the 87. All right, let's take a look. Here's the replay. See, John Mongold almost dumped. Try to dump Jared Cook already, and then Donald Brown got turned down. And then, of course, everyone starts to pile in. Look at the 13. He almost went upside down. Watch this. It's crazy. Gets launched. 54 got launched as well, but look at the 40, though. Warriors on top of Fisher. And then finally twirls around and goes on his roof. Does a full flip. Does not get back on all four. Most likely out of the race already. So many drivers piled right in. Then we have ourselves a second wreck. Which I didn't know that was possible, I guess. I don't know. Where's the 98? There he is. Most likely. Hold on. Take a look right here. 70 or who who who's up in front? Okay. The 11? I don't know. Okay, yep. Matt Dalio and John Mandy Jr. make contact. John and Mandy... Nowhere to go. Noodles also involved. And here comes Kyle. Flips over to 98. And the Ford thing goes upside down. Three cars upside down. And all three of them never got back on all four. What are the odds of that? I got and there goes a the seven as well. He's already retired. Five's out as well. Donald Brown, maybe. Fitzwater. He looks okay. Uh, Patrick Mew most likely, but he decides to skip pit road. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah. 98 got some damage as well. He might retire. Alright, let's take you back. Warriors decides to stay. He's the only driver a lap down, leaving us with 30 cars remaining. Not a good season for Warriors. Time for him. In. You can see those four at the third. Jared Cook and Jacob Robinson, your top, current top five. Green flags out. Here we go. 20 going all the way up high. Actually, no. He kind of fakes it. 
Well, there let's go to the outside engineers. Get right past the 40, but the 33 decides not to. He's gonna squeeze down or squeeze to the middle. Look at the old one. He goes to the bottom. Going for the middle. There's Mongol to the 42. He's got some damage. He's all the way up high. He takes the extra spot. Three wide over here. Oh boy. Two. Whoa. He just scraped the wall. I thought it was gonna like spin or something. Three wide. Oh, oh boy. Come on, or yes, not again. You're a lap down. Get out of the way. Don't spin. Someone did, but I don't know who. Whatever, let's just. Uh, it. It's like Mongols. Can't hang on. That damage is really, really slowing him down. 20 going top to bottom. He leads that lap. The 60s now in second. Is that the 01 or the 87? That's the 01. Going for second. Side by side for second. Battle for second. Lots of seconds. Currently a six car battle for the lead. Kind of. Let's, uh, let's see how long it takes for them to catch back up. And oh boy, I think the 60 just hit the wall. Again. I think he did. I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's that bad. There's the rest of the drivers. Slowest one currently is the 80. Extremely slow. Currently running in 29th. 20 still leads it. Three wide over here. The end in the 88. Three wide on the bottom. Now it's side by side. Andrew Rolo, the 01, might try to squeeze under. He's trying to. This rookie has no patience for anything. He just wants to go no matter what lap it is. Here comes the 60 now, trying to make it 3 wide. He's gonna make it 3 wide. They're catching the 80 up, he's right there. That is not good. Good battle for second. Right now. 20 trying to scoot away. There's Jacob Rump in the 87. He looks to the inside. Tony has some space. This shouldn't be a problem getting right past the 80. Whoa, goes to the bottom, back to the top. Kind of lost it there. Look at that. Look at the old one. He was wiggling. Kind of trying to get right by. Oh, this is not good. Come on, come on. Get out of the way. Get the hell out of the way, goddammit. This is not going to work. The 80's... Being God damn it. Come on. Move it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. Not gonna. Nope. 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 That right opens the door for the outside lane and two drivers go right by. And now the nine goes to the bottom. And wow, the 80 is holding back the 60. He is not gonna be happy after this. Jared Cook, who has a car to win this race, or at least get a good finish, and now he's sitting all the way at the back with these slower cars. He needs a caution. Like, right now. Now there's only two drivers battling for the lead here. That old one is very aggressive. Every race, he's really aggressive. And we're coming up on another slow car, I see one. I see two, actually, never mind. Two of them. Coming up on two. Got ourselves a new leader. 20 gives room. Goes up top. 20 might try to cross over. No, he's not. Looks like he wanted to. Want to use that apron. That's not to. He is looking. The inside. Trying to take the lead back. Closing in on two more slow cars. Lead change. Once again, whoa, way too high. Whoa, Jordan Fisher. Thought he was about the record there. He slapped the wall. Thought the 62 was gonna hook him. But we only got one caution so far, which is a big surprise. Currently having a two car battle for the lead. Here 
Here comes Andrew Rolo once again, side by side. He's trying to force the 20 up. But these are on the bottom, so what is he going to do? Oh, both both lanes are being blocked. Except for the, you know, the middle is not blocked, but... Uh, well, that gives a chance to do... Well, he, yeah, gives him the chance to catch right back up. Whoa! The old one was about to dump 13. The 20 might just take the lead now. Yep. And no patience right now. Four wide. Four wide squeezing. Some guys are on the white line. These lap cars, man. They're just ruining everything. Come on. Well, they... They allowed some of the drivers to catch back up without a caution. Where's the 60 anyways? There, there he is. He is not going to be happy with the 80. For sure. He currently the slowest car out there. Was it 51? No, it's the 80. Who has the slowest lap? The 14 actually has the fastest one. Who is sitting in 8th. Followed by the 62, 44, 34, 1985, 01, 87, 16, 88. Top 10 fastest. The slowest is the 98. Because, you know, they didn't complete like a full lap. But, you know, at least cost a line. And score points, so yeah. Oh, and the 19 again is in the wall. And rounds in the 87. I think he's going for trying to get for go for his first nationwide win. Side by side, closing on the 51. This is gonna be bad. Someone who does have to go single file go right by. Or well, the 51 has to move out of the way. Like, come on. Uh, who's gonna block? Oh, he's gonna block the high side. Oh my God. And once again, it holds up the field, so it's another two-car battle for the lead. I'm having a odd feeling we're gonna get a late caution. It's gonna fuck everything up. Oh, oh, never mind that. The 62 has been turned around. The caution is out. Oh, and the 33 RCR cars collide. Both of them out for sure. They're closing on the 80 again. Get right by before you have to start behind him. Ah, they can't make it. Less than 10 laps to go, we're going to restart, so they have no choice to start behind him. Well, the only good news for these two, but bad news for everyone else who's behind. Wow, the minute I say caution, one comes out right in front of me. Let's take a look at the replay. Cameron in the 62 getting dumped by Time Pollard. Pollard. He went to the bottom, but the 34 hooked them right there. Gets right into the wall. And here comes another, this is a 33, the fast car. One of the faster cars out there, but got held back by lap traffic. So, he's out of the race for sure. Cameron, maybe, that could have destroyed the fuel tank, or fuel cell, whatever. Whatever it destroyed, so, we'll see. Robert Poliard did not expect that. Well, let's take you back. Restarting with two laps to go. Now, I think we're just gonna have a battle for two. For the. No, no, battle. For, don't, don't be two drivers battling for the lead. Can't, can't take it. We have two laps to go. Restarting with two laps. These cars in. What can these drivers do? They gotta they gotta go. Like, they gotta go. They gotta do something to get past this age because he's gonna hold up everybody. You saw how slow he is. Everyone jumps to the outside. You can pass on the outside before the start finish line. The toy takes the bottom. Everyone else, 4Y almost. Oh boy. Oh no, no, no. Past the 80. Oh, the 51 down on the apron. Never mind that. Here comes everyone else. Looks like it was a smart move to jump to the outside. Jacob Robinson in command, but here comes Steve Poliard, and he puts the block, he tries the block. Checker, oh, every white flag. That's oh, goddammit. The caution is out too, but it doesn't matter. Race car is pulling in. No, it doesn't matter, we're racing it back. We're racing it back. No, they say race it back. Everyone else, for some reason, is slowing down. And the 20 is on the bottom. Can he make it? He's driving the hell out of that thing. Coming to the checkers, the 87's on the wall, the old one tries to pull to the inside, there it is! Steve Poliar wins. 
What a finish. And for some reason, everyone else is single file lined up. Driver who gets the food. That's the fastest lap. I did not expect it. He wasn't leading laps or anything, but he comes up. Thank God for that caution, I believe. I think he's saying. I hope. I don't know. Man, that scared me when the caution came out. All the lights just turned off. Like, no, that means the caution is out. But these drivers just kept on going. We'll have to take a look there, because the officials, because everyone else slowed down. And look, uh, and but these other, but these drivers, they're racing it back. So we have to take a look to see if Steve Poyer actually won the race, because the caution came out. Did they cross the line? Did the leader cross the line? Well, whatever. We'll uh, take a look at the replay. The I mean, the full race results, and, and we'll take a look at the wrecks and all that. So the pole yards go one two. Flying wall, Andrew Rolo, Dylan Naro, Jacob Robinson, Jordan Fisher, time pole yard. Ian Siegel, Ken Naro, and Jared Cook are top ten. Now let's take a look at that wreck that brought out the last caution. Twenty almost got it. All right, here's the wreck. Okay, the green was still out, so yeah, the green was already out, and then you could see the lights turn off, and of course they're already long gone. But I don't understand why these drivers were slowing down. Don't understand it. You see, Ponder getting dumped by the seventy. That was a heart pounding moment. I. I don't know why. Like I just got confused. See, the green is still on. The green light, and then there's the caution. So, yeah, that did not end the race. Thank God. Everyone else slowed down. I don't know why. I just don't understand why. You could you could race back. You could have got that extra spot or something. And look at these. You're making contact all over the place. You know, if the, if the caution actually came out, the 87 would have won this race. For obvious reasons, but he came close. Now look at the 20. He got a good run. Well, he, well, kind of. Well, he was in the middle. He tried to block. The 14 did. He didn't put the block, but he still got the win. Everyone's driving hard, and... Yeah. There you go. 20 didn't really have a chance. Cause look how far he, he was. Like, uh, whatever. Well, let's take it to victory lane.